It's the first plenary session for the week, and the upper chamber has before it a couple of economic legislation seeking its attention. First is a request from President Buhari for the Senate to approve adjustments to the 2022 fiscal framework. According to the president, recent developments globally, namely the spike in the price of crude oil caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, require an adjustment to the fiscal framework. These developments include spikes in the market price of crude oil aggravated by the Russian-Ukraine war, significantly lower oil production volume due principally to production shut-ins as a result of massive theft of crude oil between the production platforms and the terminals. President Buhari further explains in the letter that his administration's decision to suspend the removal of petrol subsidies has huge implications on the country's revenue. The adjustments to the 2022 fiscal framework include an increase in the estimated provision for PMA subsidy for 2022 by 3.557 trillion naira from 442.72 billion naira to 4 trillion naira. Meanwhile, the Senate is proposing a bill to regulate the franchising of businesses in the country. The proposed legislation is expected to promote the growth of franchising through the adoption of international best practices to balance the interests of the concerned parties. As part of our efforts to enhance economic development of our great nation, I hereby propose the passage of this franchise bill, which basically seeks to create a framework for the regulation of franchising and to guide the relationship between franchisors and franchisees and for related matters. The upper chamber also passes the Nigerian Peace Corps Establishment Bill, which seeks to give legal backing to the organization to serve as a neighborhood watch and provide employment for youths in the country.